folks <laughs> hello 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 <laughs> i just ran down this uh, <laughs> slippery path um and that gave me a little bit of inner joy what gives you a little bit of inner happiness this is your video about how to reach some form and some sort of inner happiness regardless of what is happening in the world regardless of the pains that we have and that are common to many of us how do we build that inner happiness I'm Rubina Kodadin, I'm an artist, a healer and a spiritual guide the, so the very first key is to give the information to your body to your own self as to get back in touch with the sort of childhood way of being of feeling joy so what is it for you that brings this little moment of joy that doesn't cost anything and that doesn't depend on anybody else so this is the very first key the second key it must it might sound a bit contradictory but um, if you have looked at if you've watched the video about inner peace which I've done how to find inner peace then I spoke about a pressure cooker uh, if you haven't watched it go and watch it later but what I said in this video is that if we try to uh, stick a positive vibration or positive energy in the midst of a very negative energy that isn't sort of that we are not free from it will be quite difficult to install that positive vibration so to make it simple to be able to feel joy we need to allow ourselves to feel sadness and to express that sadness so whenever circumstances make you feel sad in your life do allow yourself to feel sad and get uh, and um, let that that emotion flow in your body and you do that by <laughs> crying you can do that by writing your pain um, and this is how we can we allow ourselves to be to feel inner joy by allowing ourselves to feel uh, what is the opposite of inner joy because once it is freed then something new can come in having said that uh, some people that I guide in their journey um, do tell me that we I I know that I have a lot of sadness but I can't cry I don't I, I can't express it I can't cry and it is true that uh, um, many people have got repressed emotions because for some reason maybe in their childhood they were not um, allowed to cry or they wanted to be strong and they said okay I don't cry or sometimes we're just tired of suffering and we'll we just kind of walk through life and say no this is not gonna get me sad but this is with the mind that we're saying it but with the heart we know that we are sad so in the body we've got some repressed emotions and coming from past uh, woundedness it can be from unconscious memories and this needs to be healed to be able to um, to get inner joy in a more sort of stable and uh, yeah in a stable way uh, in a long-term way as well so in a next series of video I will talk about how to heal from past wounds and unconscious memories that will come in the next series of video so if you haven't subscribed yet then just do so now so that you can be notified of the next series but in the meantime you can go to the channel and there are some collective healing sessions uh, also some healing meditations that you can take advantage of and do them uh, some of the healing sessions when you look at it it seems very strange but it does really <laughs> work this is the way I heal and uh, there are a couple of comments actually of people who've done the healing sessions so I invite you to take advantage of those free healing sessions and the healing meditations that will help you whilst um, the next series of videos is coming up
Okay, um, the, um, but also you can take a um, one-to-one healing and guidance session with me. I'll put the link in the description below, right? Um, so this is the third point, is to heal from past wounds. And then again, um, the second thing is um, we can to build this inner joy and to give ourselves the permission to, to feel that we sometimes need to change the way we look at things. So um, just now I ran down that path. <laughs> it's a bit slippery, my feet are a little bit wet actually. Um, so I can see it in two ways, can't I? I can see it as I'm cold and my feet are getting wet or I can say wow <laughs> that was a good opportunity as I was making this video to get back in touch with my own little inner child and inner joy so this is um, one way of how we can change our perception of things and I talk more about that in the series of how to start your spiritual journey it's the second video I think where I talk about how we change our way of perceiving things so do go to this uh, video as well actually yes most all my videos are, are connected to each other because there is a common thread which is about how we evolve and how we find happiness and uh, obviously um, as we evolve we get more happiness as we build happiness we evolve <laughs> so it's like a virtuous a circle and cycle so um, do go to the video about inner peace do the healing sessions and um, watch the second video about the spiritual journey and uh, before we finish just write a comment and tell me what is it that you can do just now without having to go somewhere that brings a little sensation of joy so is it like when you spin <laughs> i don't know maybe <laughs> is it that kind of thing that brings you a sensation of joy it is very simple um, but um, if you think of nature nature is very intelligent how how the yes nature is very intelligent but generally it's uh, in it's a very it's kind of simple it's not like it's, a, it's not like a complicated sort of a way of dealing with things so when the earth when the trees need to shed their leaves they shed their leaves when the when the um, water when the oceans need to kind of overflow they overflow so um, by being more spontaneous you will reach inner peace of course whatever is important for us in the world is still important <laughs> relationships or um, material things or whatever our jobs all this is important I'm not saying that it's not but these things they can actually vanish from one day to the other but your inner happiness if you have actually nourished it it will never vanish and it keeps growing do you like this video put a little comment as to what gives you a little bit of inner joy and um, in the description to book a session with me if you need to and don't forget to look at the other videos I mentioned in a piece the healing sessions and the second video about spiritual journey thank you so much have a good evening a good day